So I wanted to walk through um, Twitter tools and kind of show how that works as well. Um, I think it's a really great plugin. I'm really pleased with uh, version 3.0. And I thought it might be useful for people to kind of um, see how it works and interacts with social. So the first thing um, I want to do is go over to social. And I already have one Twitter account. Uh, attached here, but I'm going to go ahead and add another one just to show um, how Twitter Tools works with multiple accounts because that's one of the cool new features. So I'm adding my other account here. Again, the um, Twitter Tools leverages social to connect to Twitter so you don't have to go and create apps and copy keys back and forth and there's so many things that went wrong and people had so much trouble going through all those different steps this is just amazingly um, more simple and user-friendly so we've got uh, our options here um, for our connections um, to Twitter now we can make these uh, different defaults for broadcasting accounts I can turn on broadcasting by default all that good stuff. And if I go over to the Twitter tools settings, um, you'll see those accounts show up um, that they can be enabled uh, for Twitter tools. So social now is doing the broadcasting piece, right? It also pulls reactions back from Facebook and Twitter. And Twitter tools handles the archiving piece, which is what it was originally intended for uh, before the broadcasting was added. So right now, both of these accounts are disabled um, in Twitter tools. Again, we have enabled and disabled accounts now in Twitter tools because there are multiple accounts. And uh, we, we don't want to just automatically start pulling stuff in. Uh, that would be a poor assumption. So for we're going to go ahead and enable CF Social 1, and we'll enable CF Social 2. And for CF Social 2, we'll go ahead and bring in um, uh, the posts, uh, the tweets as blog posts as well. But we're not doing that for Social 1. And this is I'm going to add a tag if we want. Uh, all this stuff is fine. Um, settings to only create posts. Uh, from things that are not replies or retweets uh, seems like good settings to have there and uh, we can create URLs for the tweets yes we'll do that all of those things are the defaults so now that we've enabled these accounts let's go ahead and download the tweets and we'll go ahead and look and see how that's progressing cool here they come so here's a bunch of tweets that just got pulled in. Um, and if we look over here, there's also some additional metadata about these. Um, we can view tweets by account, right? Because we've got two different accounts, CF Social 1 and CF Social 2. It's pulled in 20 tweets from each. We can look at tweets by mention. Um, so we can see who we're talking to in this. Um, looks like there's conversations going on between CF Social 1, CF Social 2, and also um, some other accounts. And then let's see if any hashtags have been used in any of these tweets. Looks like no hashtags. So maybe we should add one and see what happens. Um, I'll create a tweet here from CS Social 2. So testing Twitter tools for. WordPress. Yay. Create that. And go back here to, whoops, Twitter Tools Settings, which I actually still had over there. Probably could have just opened it there. Download my tweets. Go back and see what we've got now. That got pulled in. Excellent. Let's take a look and make sure our hashtag got parsed. It did. If I go back to the tweets, and go in and see um, the different tags and accounts and various taxonomies, custom taxonomies for 
that piece of content as well. Any day here. There we go. So save social two and WordPress has the hashtag. There weren't any mentions, right? So that's great. Um, now if I can go out here, you can view by hashtag. If I want to view this hashtag, and it shows just that tweet, right? If I go back to accounts, for example, and I want to see all of the tweets from CF Social One or something like that, um, we can do that as well. Right. And test tweets are just phenomenal. They're just, yeah, you can't get enough of them. You can read them all day long. So that's, uh, that's um, interaction there with uh, Twitter tools and uh, how it uses social to pull in the tweets. Um, you can see also for the post that we made by, um, I'm sorry, for the tweets from CF Social 2, those have been pulled in as blog posts as well. And you can see they're set as a status post and the content is displayed and linked um, in nice ways, right? All of these things are linking to the proper places. The t.co URLs are ex uh, expanded and linked to the um, proper places there. Um, so yeah, Twitter tools uh, working wonderfully with social, giving you a nice uh, admin interface for going in, managing your tweets. You can go in, it, say you delete something off of Twitter um, and you also want to delete it off of your own site, you can come here and move it to the trash. Um, you can uh, um, leverage some of the additional metadata um, for display purposes. If you look on my site, um, I've got some custom display stuff where I'm leveraging the data that's um, stored in the post meta for um, the tweet or in the custom post type to make some changes in the way um, things are displayed on my site. I apologize for the internet connection. It's been slow all day long. Let's see if I can get this to load up. There we go. Um, Oh, this is a great example because this, this one's hooked up wrong. So there's, <laughs> pardon the language, retweet from jQuith. I think that this may be off because of this RT. There's uh, um, basically Twitter provides um, the location of where entities are, and uh, Twitter tools then uses that to link things um, like this right here. But it looks like, um, you know, in that case with the retweet, it's off. So that might be a bug we need to fix. Awesome. Good to have something to fix. Um, so here's a tweet that's a reply. And we can view it on Twitter. And we can also see what it's in reply to. Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at that. And... Here's the post that JJJ put up, and here is my reply. And I love that I now have that um, history and that information on my own site. So that's Twitter Tools. Uh, hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.